Okay, so we need to come up with a fake movie to get into the country? Oh yeah, no, no, that sounds like a good idea. Well, what, what kind of movie you had in mind? No, 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 we should do porn. I, they're, they're not gonna deny us entry into the country. Everybody loves porn. Alright, so this is a big weekend, I got a whole bunch of movies coming out, a lot of them I've been very excited for, and this is one of them. So basically we have this movie that is uh, somewhat based on a true story about the 1979 Iran uh, hostage crisis, in which, uh, in this story, we have these people who are pretending to basically be making a movie so that they can be scouting for locations in Iran to try and rescue these people. And ergo, Argo. Yeah, see what I did there? Cause it's like, yo, know, the story, that's what makes up the movie arc. Yo, know, fuck you guys. Anyway, rolling up my motherfucking sleeves. That was like a weird 10 seconds right there. Anywho, first off, this movie is a great cast. Ben Affleck, who is also directing, and he's probably even even better director than he is an actor, almost definitely. And you're a good actor too, Ben. I mean, go on. Uh, Alan Arkin, John Goodman, Brian Cranston. So how would you not want to see this movie? Despite the fact that it had this amazing trailer that looked very slick. It utilizes Dream On by Aerosmith very well. Creates a lot of tension. And kind of reminded me of the, the style of the town a little bit, which is a really good thing. And overall, I was pumped up for this movie, and it delivered uh, in full. This movie has a lot to offer, especially someone like me. I enjoy history, politics, things of that nature and it is also a really cool concept it kind of lets you think yeah it lets you feel like you're in on this very secretive mission and does a good job providing historical backdrops has this great 70s feel to it but also really highlights the intensity and importance of the scenario while maintaining this very uh, consistent tongue-in-cheek humor not necessarily tongue-in-cheek but it, this, a lot of really good comic relief just kind of coming out of the ridiculousness of what they're doing, but also piling on the fact that it is of the utmost importance. And they do a great balancing job of those two things. Well, like, oh, they're making this movie to, you know, free hostages, and, uh, you know, people are cracking jokes about it, but at the same time, they're like, no, but seriously, we don't, we can't fuck up. And the whole cast works great, as, especially with these things, like John Goodman, Alan Arkin, have this perfect dichotomy between the comedy and the drama. These people, who are themselves characters, just larger than life, and really just throw that out on the screen, and just always manage to have really great characters you love to watch. The same thing with Brian Cranston, too. And the tension in this movie is built so perfectly. Ben Affleck is very good at that. He lets you know that like, this shit is going down, this is serious, pay attention, watch this movie. It is attention-grabbing, uh, edge of your seat, and, and just overall this, in, this amazing visceral and dramatic experience. This is a kind of movie that I absolutely love love. I love this type of movie. It did not disappoint me at all. It was this, Seven Psychopaths, and all those movies. Uh, they kind of reminded me of each other, and I'm just like, damn, that's it. this is a good weekend. So I'm going to be reviewing Seven Psychopaths Psychopath soon. Argo has this almost caper, heist movie type feel, because it is like they're pulling off a heist instead of stealing money, they're stealing people. The result of that is this very spry and quick uh, film that uh, accompanied by a fan, by the great direction and accompanied by a script that also has that very same jolt of intensity to it. So for those reasons uh, and the performances as I said were great as well. This is a fantastic movie. I really really like movies like this. So I'm going to give it a 9 and a half out of 10. Definitely very, very strong recommendation. I will be reviewing Seven Psychopaths soon, but I, I do hope people go to see this movie. Maybe, maybe some Oscar stuff going around with this one? Hopefully. And if we're gonna do, like, roleplay, just keep away from, you know, religious figures. They seem to, they seem to be upset 
by those sort of things. I mean, yeah, maybe we could throw in, you know, a buff Jesus or something, but I don't, I don't know about the whole M-word guy. Who's that one with a bunch of arms? Yeah, maybe that one.